When versioning is turned on, all of the changes that you make to the map are recorded in a log. This allows you to undo those changes either one at a time or in bulk. Versioning should already be turned on for all of your feature classes, so don't worry about turning this on yourself. I'm going to go into create mode and I'm going to add uh, several different features to the map. I'm just going to randomly place these on there and then we'll go through an example of how we can undo some of those changes. So I just added a pad. Let's put a primary pole out there and uh, let's do a meter bank and then also an overhead transformer. So I've added four different features, just place them on the map. Um, now I can go and use the undo and redo buttons in the upper left hand corner here. So this is undo. You can also use control Z. So if I click on that one time, it's going to get rid of that last item, which was the overhead transformer bank. If I want to redo that, I can just click on the redo option or control Y, and that will place that back on the map. Now, if you notice, the undo has a drop down arrow. This will actually show a log of all the changes that I recently made. So you can see it says create overhead, transformer bank, create meter bank, create primary pole, and create pad. And so if I want to, I can actually go back several steps all at once. So let's say I want to undo all the way back to the primary pole. So I can just click on that. And it kept the pad in place because I didn't go that far back, but I did go and erase the, uh, the three previous um, additions that I had already made. So this works uh, in a number of different areas of the system. It's something that you'll want to spend a little bit of time experimenting with, make sure you have a good understanding of both the undo feature and the redo feature. Um, you can also redo uh, multiple things at the same time. So if I wanted to put all those back, I can do that as well.